California State Universities to include caste and anti-discrimination policies. So California State University, or CSU, has become the first university system in the United States to add caste to its anti-discrimination policy. The decision will be implemented at all 23 campuses within the CSU university system. There is well-documented evidence that Dalits, more commonly known outside of South Asia as the untouchables, uh, experienced caste-based discrimination even in the United States. According to the nonprofit Equality Labs, one in three Dalits in the U.S. experience discrimination in educational space, two in three are mistreated in their workplace, one in three experience discrimination in educational space, and, um, wait, I already read that, sorry, one in four experience physical and verbal assault relating to their caste. Prem Pariyar, a Nepali Dalit and CSU East Bay graduate, is one of the vital figures behind this policy change. He mentioned in an NBC interview that he and his family had to flee Nepal because they were attacked for their caste identity and for speaking out against caste atrocities. He managed to get caste protections first passed within his Department of Social Work, then at his university, and now throughout the Cal State system. Woohoo! <laughs> <This is> great, <laughs> and this is gonna Woo. this is this <laughs> this is gonna set a precedent, right? Yes, this is a huge precedent, guys. This is major. The CSU universe, the C, the Cal State University system is the largest four-year um, university system in the United States. Mm. This is amazing. This is amazing, and it's also yeah. an acknowledgement of how big of a deal the whole cast situation is you know yes like it's, it's it's the effect on it is way beyond just you know one university um it also could set a precedent for eventually this becoming like governments or like bigger institutions looking into this or something um you know this is an important civil rights movement right so mm -hmm. it's it's good that some institutions are leading and making making an effort to make sure they fight against this it, it could inspire many other institutions around the world not just in the us to to follow like now like if anybody else wants to do it it's not like unheard of you know you could be like well they did it <laughs> right why not uh, why can't we do it right and also like you know and even like it, it, there would be value like even if it, <laughs> university doesn't have a single lower caste or outcast person in there just like the state just putting this there like oh we don't tolerate this here it's a statement right it's a statement that by itself is actually bringing attention to the to the struggles um of lower caste and outcast people which is this should be celebrated this is fantastic yeah um, i think yeah um i was watching some interviews with prem and he seems like a really amazing guy and he talked about how when he came to the U.S., he was like, I thought that this is something that I was going to be able to put behind me. Um, but this mm. is something I still continued to experience in like every aspect of like of my life in America still. And it disturbed me that I would experience this on campus. And there were other um, Dalit students who said that um, there they would be with um, other South Asians and there would be a presumption that they were also from an upper or privileged caste and because they didn't know their true caste status they would start talking really poorly and using slurs and denigrating lower caste people because they thought they were like in safe company and um people might think like why is this important and it's important to have these policies because now there's actually reprimand against it and it addresses it specifically and accurately because if you try to use maybe a policy that is um, for racism, that doesn't fully capture uh, the experience and it doesn't capture the nature of the um, bigotry or discrimination. Um, so it's important to have it precisely described on the books because that's also how there will be more accurate um, actions against it, right? It'll hold up under scrutiny. Um, 
I also have a particular soft spot that this movement began at CSU East Bay because fun fact, I've, I've lectured at CSU East Bay. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's I think, I think it's also really important that, um, this is originating in the Bay area, um, because CSU East Bay is in Hayward, um, which is in the outer East Bay and, Equality Labs, which I mentioned previously, has said that they have received complaints of discrimination in every major tech company, um, Google, Zoom, uh, Cisco, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, the list just goes on and on and on. And so, so much of that is centered in the East Bay or the Bay Area in general. So I think it's very relevant and needed that this is uh that the fight for this what in the push came out of the bay area because it's very relevant to the experiences of many south asians here interesting all right i do want to highlight this oh, yeah what you highlighted this one what is this one captain nadara saying i hope this stops any shoulder tapping tests so yes that would what be considered that? a form of discrimination um correct me if i'm wrong but I believe the shoulder tapping test refers to basically feeling someone's shoulder to see if they're wearing, I forget the name of it, but they're the, the strings that Brahmins or twice borns wear underneath their clothing. What's the name of that? It starts with a P. Um, it doesn't, yeah, never mind. Okay. So yes, that's you one subtle, that's a subtle form of discrimination. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I didn't know about that. Um, I do want to address this from somebody, a uh, random Buddhist guy um, saying equality for caste. I think like it's important for us not to ask. Let me, let me know what you think, because I don't think we should be asking for equality for caste. We should be asking for the abolishment of caste. We don't want to have castes that are equal. We don't want to have caste at all. Right? I think so. Um, that's easier right. said than done, though, because that's um, yeah, but that's a goal. We don't, I didn't say it's easy. <laughs> yeah, it would you would have to divorce for many people like the the meanings of their last names from um, yeah, but it, always like whenever when, when we define a goal, it's not a it's not a suggestion that's an easy easy to yeah. No, I know. I'm just thinking yeah. out loud. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Oh no. <coughs> <laughs> I did the opposite. Did I cough and then mute myself? Um, yeah. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.